All right, well, obviously, whenever you play yourself, just like scrimmages, um, hard to evaluate, but especially when you're not really tackling. So, you know, there's some good things out there. Some guys made some plays. Obviously, we're limited in what we did, especially defensively, um, and had some offensive injuries, um, you know, at the skilled position. So, good to see some turnovers by the defense, some explosive plays. Good to see some consistent movement by the offense at times. And um, so we'll go back and watch it. A lot of guys think everyone got to play, which was good. So and looked like no major injuries, probably more important than everything. Question. What does it mean uh, for this team right now to begin to middle depth on both of the lines, offense and defense? It looked like the defensive line was maybe a little farther ahead than that. Yeah, I think our defensive line has been deeper all camp um, or spring and you know some of those guys being new have added that I think by far that's our biggest positional change if you went from when we got here to now uh, would be that group you know went from you know I would say our weakest link um, to maybe our strongest so that's good and it looked like the second offensive line played better now again very limited in what they're seeing on defense that helps too. Yeah, not a very good first half. Um, thought he was trying to win the job instead of just playing quarterback and forcing balls and um, not being very consistent. So just talked to him before the half, you know, about you know calming down and taking one play at a time. And uh, thought he did some better things in the second half. You said the other day that um, that with those two guys, it kind of seemed like one day one would be playing well and the other wasn't, and you know another day it'd be the opposite. Was that kind of like a little bit more like what you saw today a little bit? And, uh, yeah. yeah, that would be considered Luke's day in that way. You know, Jackson made some mistakes early, and um, Luke seemed to play really consistent, um, you know, and not force things. How many offensive linemen right now do you feel like you have confidence in that you might put in a rotation? I don't know that. Um, and we don't need to, so I haven't figured that out. You know, we're not playing a game. Um, but. Uh, I would have confidence in a lot of our twos. Uh, yeah, I think that they've really developed. There's some young guys in there um, that are really, you know, ready to play. Who's? Oh, Kincaid. Um, I thought Kincaid did good. I think both series, that his first two series that he played were touchdown drives, um, one on both sides. So that was really good to see. And I'm um, proud of him. And that's not easy when you're sitting there and get thrown in on both teams uh, to be able to ready to go in and play. And he did what we want our guys to do. Like they asked me before the game, what do you want from your quarterbacks? I want them to operate the system really well and not try to play outside the system. And he did a good job with that. Seems like you didn't really ask for too much from any of the running backs today. Just now that spring's over, where do you feel that room is with four guys you have? Well, especially without we're not supposed to tackle. Um, Without tackling, you know, I usually when we do that, try to make it more pass oriented so we're evaluating more players um, and a better evaluation on the quarterbacks, especially. So, you know, that's why you saw pretty heavy in the first half throwing the ball. What's kind of your offseason message for, for both those quarterbacks? And I, I guess, like, how far away I guess, would you say you are in terms of like, making the decision to start? I know it's far away, but I mean, where are you kind of at? Again, we don't have to make a decision today, so we got a lot of time left. And um, you know, Jackson just got here, and you know, Luke's had a year ahead of him, so um, I would hope Jackson would continue to improve. Uh, you know, with more time in our system uh, throughout fall camp. What's your confidence level at this stage of kind of spring ending, going into summer? What's your confidence level in this group? Because there is obviously been a turnover. Yeah, I think I mean, better than where it started. Um, you know. We know what Mingo is, so you know not having him, that's not like having a new player hurt. You know, we know what he is and how he plays and how he would fit. So, um, you know, to see some pieces come together and you know JJ Henry make plays. Obviously, you saw Trig, and so um, I'm feeling better. Trig had a pretty good day today. What were you impressed the most by him today? He's kind of done that all camp. Um, you know. 
like I said, he's just very unique. Ball skills, catching range, um, and basically what you saw today, he's done whenever he's been healthy. Plain, does it just take longer to build depth now you're in the third year here? Depth along those lines, and that just naturally come a little bit later than some other positions? Yeah, I think it's always tougher for younger guys, you know, high school kids to come in and play on the lines, especially offensive lines. So um, that usually takes takes a while. Coach, since you've been here at Ole Miss, the team's gone from five wins to ten wins and playing in the Super Bowl last year. So uh, obviously you want to have a, a championship standard, but uh, with Matt Crowell leaving, new quarterback coming in, uh, how are you managing those expectations for you know the fan base and also for the players? I mean, I can't control the fan base. Every season's new. Last season has nothing to do with this season, just like the previous one didn't have to do with that. So uh, we always have to start over. And, you know, that's why preseason rankings and that stuff don't mean anything. Everything's brand new. So we got a lot of work to do with so many new people.